Hey everybody, thanks for checking in with GearWire.com. I'm Rob Wormowski and we're going to take a look uh, at Audio Mulch again today. Right now we've got the Beat Process uh, preset patch loaded up and we're going to take a slow drive through this preset and take a look at the signal flow. Also take a look at the automation and uh, be able to, at the end of it, uh, match what we see with what we hear. We're going to uh, just hit play right now and uh, the loop section that is currently enabled is going to be where we will start so here we go we have the loop playback button pushed as you can see so here we go what we are listening to right now is a combination of two rough uh, stereo signal paths that are appearing at the mixer here. The mixer has a wet side and a dry side the way it's currently set up. On the left hand side we've got the wet side so if we solo that we will hear just the wet part of the uh, signal. And if we solo the right side we'll hear just dry only. So what's really going on here? As you can tell from the dry soloing, we've got the source is a, a drum beat. And let's take a close look at the drums contraption as we've currently got it here. There are four channels open in the drum contraption. And here are their relative volume levels. And we can hear the hats ticking along. There doesn't seem to be anything under hat open, so we'll leave that alone. But we also have a hard kick on the one and a snare on the two. Now if we take a look at the signal path we can see that the drums head into two different processing chains. One chain is uh, defined by the flanger, five combs filter, granulator, and then into the mixer. This side of it is what we would call the uh, wet side. In other words we're not hearing this chain right now. We're hearing uh, the chain, the other chain, and the other chain is drums into stereo delay one. Stereo delay one is coming into the mixer, and that's channel three and four, and that's what we've got soloed currently. So let's unsolo the wet side, or dry side rather, and focus on uh, what exactly is uh, making these modulating sounds. The very uh, first stage that we go to is the flanger. And the flanger is not actually uh, being, uh, it's, uh, there are no parameters being modulated by the flanger. It's just set at, at a range of, uh, where you can see the uh, uh, image here. The range, the rate, and the feedback, and the wet and dry mix are all set uh, in this screen here. But the interesting, uh, the most interesting part of this chain is the five combs filter. Now, what is the five combs? Five combs is a resonant filter. It's actually a grouping of five resonant filters, but uh, we're hearing uh, really one out of the five. Here are the five, and as you can see, the gain is very high on the first frequency and not so high on the other frequencies. So, as a result, we are hearing the modulation of the uh, flanged drums is uh, being taken care of by the first frequency and it's moving the actual uh, uh, change of uh, basic note is coming from this value here which is changing right here now it's at C in the fourth octave and now it's modulated down to uh, B flat in the third octave <laughs> 